basic problems on integration. So we will continue the next now. Integrate. So that is 1 minus x into root x into d. Integration of 1 minus x into root x. See here. So now integration of multiply this 1 into root x is root x. Right? So multiply the brackets. 1 into root x is root x minus x into root x into dx. Is it clear? So 1 into root x is root x minus x root x into dx. So what is root x? Root x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 minus now it is x power 1 into x raised to 1 by 2. Right? So root x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2. Now x into root x. So what is root x? It is x raised to 1 by 2. Now it is x raised to 1 by 2. Now when base is same, we can add the powers. When base is same, we can add the powers x raised to 1 plus 1 by 2. Here it is 1, here it is 1 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2 is how much it is? 3 by 2 into dx. Is it clear, friends? So 1 minus x into root x. Now this is root x into 1 is root x minus x root x. What is root x? It is x raised to 1 by 2. x into root x. x into what is root x here? It is x raised to 1 by 2. Now it is x raised to 1 by 2 x into x raised to 1 by 2, that is x raised to 3 by 2. So therefore, again what is integration of x raised to n? It is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Minus, again x raised to n, x raised to n plus 1, that is 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus c. x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1, here also x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. Now it is x raised to c n, x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1, 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 divided by, again it is 3 by 2. Right, so plus, minus, now x raised to 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 3 is 5 by 2. x raised to 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2. Is it clear? So 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 3 is 5 by 2. x raised to 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 plus c. Now this 2 will come to the numerator, that is 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 minus 2 by 5 into x raised to 5 by 2 plus sum. Is it clear, friends? Right? So, multiply the brackets first. 1 into root x is root x minus x into root x. Right? So, what is root x? Root x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 minus x into root x. x power 1 into root x is x raised to 1 by 2. Now, x raised to 1 by 2, x into x raised to 1 by 2. That is 1 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. What is the integration of x raised to n? x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 minus integration again is x raised to n form. x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. That is 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus x raised to 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 plus c. That is 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 minus 2 by 5 into x raised to 5 by 2 plus c. Is it clear, friends? I don't know. Next problem. See the next problem. Now the next problem is integration of root x into bracket. Now it is 3x square plus 2x plus 3 into b root x into bracket 3x square plus 2x plus 3 into dx. Now see here. Now root x is nothing but x raised to, what is root x? Root x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 into 3x square plus 2x plus 3 into dx. Right. So now multiply the brackets. Now 3 into x raised to 1 by 2 into x square. When base is same, we can add the powers. That is x raised to 1 by 2 plus 2. Right. So when base is same, when base is same, we can add the power, that is 1 by 2 plus 2, plus 2 into x raised to 1 by 2 into x, that is x raised to, if nothing is there, that power is 1, right? So x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1, plus 
थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू वन बाई इंटू डी एक्स जस्ट आई मल्टीप्लाइंग ब्रैकेट जस्ट आई मल्टीप्लाइंग रूट एक्स इंटू द ब्रैकेट वॉट इज रूट एक्स इज एक्स रेस टू वन बाई टू इंटू ब्रैकेट थ्री एक्स स्क्वे प्लस टू एक्स प्लस थ्री राइट सो एक्स रेस टू वन बाई टू इंटू एक्स स्क्वे इट इज वन बाई टू प्लस टू सो एक्स रेस टू वन बाई टू इंटू एक्स दट इज वन बाई टू प्लस वन थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू वन बाई टू नाउ इट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू 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 जो फोर फोर प्लस वन इज फाइव बाई टू राइट प्लस टू इंटू एक्स रेस टू टू वन जो टू टू प्लस वन इज थ्री बाई टू प्लस थ्री इंटू इट इज एक्स रेस टू वन बाई टू इज इट क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स राइट नाउ इंटीग्रेट थ्री इंटू वॉट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स रेस टू एन वॉट इज एन वैल्यू एन वैल्यू इज फाइव बाई टू दट इज एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस राइट सो प्लस टू इंटू अगेन एक्स रेस टू एन एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस वन प्लस थ्री इंटू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस वन प्लस सी राइट सो नाउ सो नाउ थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू टू वन जो टू टू प्लस फाइव सेवन बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू वन जो टू टू प्लस वन सेवन बाय टू प्लस टू इंटू एक्स रेस टू टू वन जो टू टू प्लस थ्री फाइव बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव बाय प्लस थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू टू वन जो टू टू प्लस वन इज थ्री बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री बाय टू इज इट क्लियर स्टूडेंट नाउ दिस टू विल कम टू द न्यूमरेटर टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज सिक्स बाय सेवन इंटू एक्स रेस टू सेवन बाय प्लस नाउ दिस टू विल कम टू द न्यूमरेटर टू टू जो इट इज फोर बाय फाइव इंटू एक्स रेस टू फाइव बाय टू अगेन दिस टू नाउ दिस थ्री विल गेट कैंसल नाउ दैट टू विल कम टू द न्यूमरेटर दैट इज टू इंटू एक्स रेस टू थ्री बाय टू प्लस सी दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर सी स्टूडेंट्स so it's very easy so just what is root x root x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 now multiply this root x to all the terms inside the bracket now x raised to 1 by 2 into x square it is 1 by 2 plus 2 right so x raised to 1 by 2 into x it is 1 by 2 plus 1 now it is 3 into x raised to 1 by 2 now it is 2 to the 4 4 plus 1 is 5 by 2 2 ones are 2 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 now it is x raised to 1 by 2 now all the terms Are in x raised to n form, right? So now three into x raised to integration of x raised to n, x raised to n plus one by n plus one, five by two plus one by five by two plus one. So two is constant. Integration of x raised to three by two, x raised to three by two plus one by three by two plus one, plus three into x raised to one by two. What is integration of x raised to one by two? X raised to one by two plus one by one by two plus one. Now see here. So three into two ones are two. Two plus five seven by two divided by seven by two. Two ones are two. Two plus three is five by two divided by five by two. Two ones are two. Two plus one is three by two divided by three by two. Now this two will come to the numerator. Two three zero six by seven <coughs> into x raised to seven by two. Two two zero four by five into x raised to five by two. So now this three will get cancelled. That is two into x raised to three by two plus c. Is it clear, friends? So write down. <coughs> Okay. See the next problem, friends. See. See the next problem. Now integration of C. Now root x plus. One by root x into dx. See, students, integration of root x plus one by root x. Now I can separate this integration of 
root x into dx plus integration of 1 by root x into dx. We can separate it, right? So what is root x? Root x is nothing but here, so here only you can write it directly, no problem. Try to write one more step, right? So root x is nothing but it is x raised to 1 by 2 plus integration of 1 by root x. We have already we know that standard formula is there. What is the integration of 1 by root x? That formula is already have given. That is nothing but it is 2 root x plus. This is already have given in standard formula, right? So derivative integration of some standard formula already have given. So integration of 1 by root x is 2 root x. Derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So integration of 1 by root x is what it is? 2 root x. Right? So now, now it is in the form of x raised to n. What is integration of x raised to n? It is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Plus, what is integration of 1 by root x? That is the standard formula. Right? Integration of 1 by root x is 2 root x. That is 2 root x plus So now it is x raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 plus 2 root x plus Now this 2 will come to the numerator. That is 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 plus 2 root x plus. This is the final answer. Is it clear students? These all are one mark questions. Right? So root x, integration of root x. What is root x is? x raised to 1 by 2 plus integration of 1 by root x into x. So what is integration of x raised to n? It is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integration of 1 by root x is 2 root x plus. Now it is x raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus 2 root x plus c. So now this 2 will come to the numerator. That is 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 plus 2 root x plus c. Is it clear students? So write out. Integration of so here two as I now integration of one minus sine x divided by cos square x into dx. Again we have one more which is very similar to that. Integration of two minus three sine x divided by cos square x. Both are similar. See how to do this here. So now integration of, now separate the terms, when you separate it, it will become 1 by cos square x minus sin x divided by cos square x, that cos square x I can write it as cos x into cos x. Is it clear students? Right? So separate the terms, 1 divided by cos square x minus sin x divided by cos square, that cos square only I am writing cos into cos. Right? So now 1 divided by cos square, what is 1 divided by cos square is sex square x minus, now this is 1 divided by cos x, what is 1 divided by cos x, 1 divided by cos x is sec x, again this sin x divided by cos x, we left with second term that is sin x by cos x, what is sin x by cos x is tan x, is it clear students, I am separating the terms, so 1 divided by cos square x minus sin x divided by this cos square, I can write as cos into cos, right? So 1 divided by cos square, what is 1 by cos square? It is x square x minus 1 divided by cos x, what is 1 divided by cos x? It is sec x, sin x divided by cos x is tan x. Now see here, so what is integration of sec square x? We have a standard formula, what is integration of sec square x? It is tan x minus integration of sec x into tan x. What is integration of sec x into tan x? It is sec x plus Everybody should remember all the formula students, right? So here it is very easy just to separate the terms 1 by cos square x minus sin x by cos square. So this cos square I am writing it as cos into cos, right? So 1 by cos square, what is 1 by cos square? It is sec square x minus 1 divided by cos, 1 by cos is sec x, sin x divided by cos x is tan x. So integration of sec square x, what is integration of sec square x? It is tan x 
minus integration of sec x into tan x is sec x plus c. So this is also very similar. Now first to separate that, that is 2 divided by 2 divided by cos square x minus 3 sin x divided by this cos square, I can write that same cos into cos. Is it clear friends? Just I am separating the terms, that is 2 by cos square x minus 3 sin x by cos square, I can write it as cos into cos. Now it is 2 into, what is 1 by cos square? 1 by cos square is nothing but, 1 by cos square is nothing but sec square x minus 3, what is this 1 by cos? 1 term I will take first, 1 divided by cos is sec x, again this sin x divided by cos x, what is sin x by cos x is tan x into d x. Is it clear friends? So 2 as it is 1 by cos square is x square minus 3, what is 1 divided by cos? I will consider only one cos term, 1 divided by cos is sec x, again we left with one more cos, that is sin divided by cos is tan x. Now, so it is 2 into, so we can write it as integration of sec square x minus 3 into c. Right, so minus 3 into integration of sec x into tan x. This step is not required, you can write directly also. Right? So 2 into integration of sec square x minus 3 into integration of sec into tan. Now 2 into, what is integration of sec square x then? Integration of sec square x is tan x minus 3 into, what is integration of sec x into tan x? Integration of sec x into tan x is sec x plus x. Is it clear friends? Right? So in this form first separate the terms 2 by cos square x minus 3 sin x by cos square that is nothing but cos into cos. Now 2 into what is 1 by cos square? It is x square x minus 3. What is 1 by cos? 1 by cos is nothing but sec x. Sin x by cos x. Sin x by cos x is tan x. Now 2 into integration of x square x minus 3 into integration of sec x into tan x. Now 2 into what is integration of x square x? It is tan x minus 3 into integration of sec x into tan x is sec x plus. Both are same, only that they have added some constant in the sin and cos, oh, sorry, sin and, there is here a constant term is 1, here sin coefficient is 1, here constant term is 2, sin coefficient is 3. Is it clear, friends? So, write down.
iterate the next polygon. Next problem over C. Now here that root x will get cancelled, we left with 2 into dx. 
is it here? So just I am expanding a plus b whole square. That is root x square plus one by root x square plus two a b. What is a value? Root x. What is b value? One by root x. Now root x square is x. One by root x square is one by x. Here root x will get cancelled. We we'll left with two. So integration of x. Integration of x is x square by two. Integration of one by x. What is integration of one by x? It is log x plus integration of two. Integration of two is two x. Already told you integration of any constant is that constant into x. Integration of two, two x. Integration of three, three x. Integration of ten, ten x. Integration of a, a is any constant. Integration of a is a x. So therefore, integration of two is two x plus. Is it clear, sir? Just expand a plus b whole square. We get x plus one by x plus two. Integration of x is x square by two. Integration of one by x log x plus integration of two is two x. Right. Hey students, next problem. Next problem, see. See next. Integration of three x cube plus three x plus four divided by root x into three x. See students, already we know one formula. What is that formula? What is x raised to m divided by x raised to n? X raised to m divided by x raised to n is nothing but x raised to m minus one. X raised to m into x raised to n is nothing but x raised to m plus one. Already we know that, right? X raised to m divided by x raised to n is x raised to m minus n. X raised to m into x raised to n is x raised to m plus n. See, first we separate this. So that is x cube divided by root x. What is root x? Root x is nothing but x raised to one by plus three x. Divided by root x. What is root x? It is x raised to one by two plus four divided by. I will write root x as it is because I know what is integration of one by root x. Here I am not writing x raised to one by two because already I know what is integration of one by root x. That we have formula two root x, right? So now it is x raised to x raised to m divided by x raised to m. That is x raised to m minus one three minus one by two into dx. I can separate here plus three into x raised to Now it is one minus one by two into dx plus four into integration of one by root x into dx. Is it clear, friends? Right. First time separating this. Right. So x cube divided by root x. What is root x? It is x raised to one by two. Three x by root x. What is root x? X raised to one by two. Now four divided by root x. Same here. I am not writing x raised to one by two because already I know integration of one by root x is two root x. Right. So now x raised to m divided by x raised to n. X raised to m minus n, so that is three minus one by dx plus three into x raised to one divided by x raised to one by two, one minus one by two into dx plus four into integration of one by root x. Here I am not writing x raised to one by two because already I know what is integration of one by root x. Standard formula is there, that is two root x. Now see it, x raised to so two three is a six six minus one, that is five by two into dx plus three into integration of x raised to two one zero two two minus one is one by two into dx plus four into integration of one by two x into d. Is it clear? So now x raised to now all are in the form of x raised to n, right? So what is integration of x raised to n? X raised to n plus one. That is x raised to five by two plus one divided by five by two plus one. Integration of x raised to n. What is n value? N value is five by two. X raised to n plus one by n plus one plus three into See, plus three into again x raised to n. N is nothing but one by two. That is x raised to n plus one, one by two plus one by one by two plus one. Plus four into 
see here, plus 4 into integration of 1 by root x. Integration of 1 by root x is 2 root x. Plus, is it clear, students? So, x raised to n, integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, 3 into integration of x raised to n, x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. 4 into integration of 1 by root x, integration of 1 by root x is 2 root x. Now, it is x raised to, so 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 5, 7 by 2 divided by 7 by 2. Plus, 3 into x raised to, 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Plus, 4 twos are 8 root x plus, now this 2 will come to the numerator, that is 2 by 7 into x raised to 7 by 2, now this 3 will get cancelled, this 2 will come to the numerator, that is 2 into x raised to 3 by 2, right, plus 8 root x plus, this is the final answer, is it clear friends, say a little bit more time, so x cube by root x, what is root x, it is x raised to 1 by 2, 3x by root x, what is root x, x raised to 1 by 2, plus 4 by root x. Now this is x raised to m by x raised to n, x raised to m minus n into dx, plus 3 into x raised to m by x raised to n, 1 minus 1 by n, plus 4 into integration of 1 by root x. So 2 3s are 6 minus 1 is 5 by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. Now this is in the form of x raised to n. What is the integration of x raised to n? x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. Here also integration of x raised to n, n plus 1 by n plus 1. 4 into integration of 1 by root x, that is 2 root x plus c. Now it is x raised to 2 1s are 2, 2 plus 5, 7 by 2 divided by 7 by 2. Plus 3 into 2 1s are 2, 2 plus 1 is x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. Plus 4 2s are 8 root x plus c. Now 2 by 7 into x raised to 7 by 2. Here 3 will get cancelled. 2 into x raised to 3 by 2 plus 8 root x plus c. Is it clear, friends? C. So this completes the first exercise in NCRT book. That is 7.1 exercise. All problems worked exercise. So that all problems are over. So in the next class, we will start the methods of integration. So we have three methods. Substitution method. right? So integration by substitution, integration by partial fraction, integration by parts. We have three methods. So in the next class, we will start with the methods of integration. So that is after that, we will start with problems on second exercise. Is it clear, friends? So up to here, we have done that basic exercise, that is 7.1 exercise. In this problem, we will get one one mark question in final exam. Is it clear? So okay, thank you, friends.